Hi Beasties, I'm Karen Whitnish, otherwise known as BATB Passion. And I'm Janine Hayes, known as Joanine on Twitter and J. Cole on Facebook. And just in case you're wondering what we're doing, it, which would be self-explanatory for a lot of people, this is our contribution to the Rose Campaign. So this video is addressed to you, the most important of presidents in the history of the United States. That would be Mr. Mark Pedowitz. So we've made up a little impromptu set of limericks just for you, good sir. All right. <laughs> Will you put that rose down? Do you like the way I did that? Yeah. I just sort of snuck it up there then. No, it's on. Just go. All on. right. Roses are red. Roses are black. Renew B-A-T-B. Cut us some slack. Roses are red. Roses are blue. Give us season three. We beg of you. Roses are red, roses are yellow, renew B-A-T-B, so we won't be mellow. Roses are red, roses are white, give us more Vincat, our weekly delight. Roses are red, roses are crimson, it's epic Vincat love we base our dreams on. My favourite, personally, roses are red, roses are blue, though we love cat, it's Vincent, we want to do. I made that one. <laughs> yeah, you made most of them up. <laughs> Just like your fan base, roses come in different hues. Don't forget, there's international beasties who are your unrated views. Please, Mr. Pedowitz, can we have season three? With a wink or a nod, will you answer us, please? So with this rose, we hand to you, black though it may be, a renewal announcement of BATB is all we want to see. How cool is that? That's we've we've oh. been a little bit busy today, Beastie. But can I also just say the main reason the, re the rose is black and Mr. Pedowitz is because I don't have a colour printer. Yeah, well, that, that has something to do so with it black. as well. And I don't think you have to hold it for the whole Got time. Got nothing to do with the colour of our hearts. No, it has absolutely nothing to do with the colour of our hearts. Now, Mr. Pedowitz, on to more serious business. We, we have a few facts and figures here that we think that you should be aware of. And then there are some emotional stuff that we think you should be aware of as well. Now, look... I'm going to be perfectly honest that you cannot overrate the impact cancelling Beauty and the Beast would have on the Beastie fandom around the world. No. You, you can't. It's just not remotely possible. With everything that I've seen over the last 12 months, honestly, I think the light would be crushed in a whole heap of Beasties mm -hmm. all around the world. To say that there's creativity in this fandom, ferocious loyalty, which sometimes goes to opposite extremes than we would prefer, but... You know, at the end of the day, it's engendering such deep emotion. And I would hate for that to be snuffed out with a single announcement that would just put out the light around the world. When you think of it, and we've had to write these down, and these are the ones that we thought of, off the top of our head, just in our smallish group, for um, promotion, we have to talk Ruth, we have to talk Carrie, we have to talk Sam, we have to talk Anita in Texas. For fantastic posters, we have to mention Wilma and we have to mention Vivian. For poetry, we have Amiga and we have Faye. For videos... I was going to say, we forgot Elodie, she does posters as well. Oh, Elodie does posters as well, which is... We love our French beastie. Hi, Elodie. Mm -hmm. Videos, Angie Redding, Keslin, Ulana, Tiffany, Catherine, Tammy. And then we get on to fan fiction. <laughs> on blogs. Blogs, there's Liz. Fella from France also Fella from France. From Correct. Then you have fan fiction, some of the most, the bestest, greatest fan fiction. Alex Smidley. We have Pam, we have Monique, we have Sally, we have Kristen, we have Pocket Dial on fanfiction.net. We have Kath, we have Judash, we have Sybil, we have Steph, we have Liz. We have all of these creative beasties who give so much of their time for the show because of the passion that we have. And there's two more fan fiction writers but, that we have to mention. But these are just the ones that we know of. There's yeah, and these are in our small English-speaking group. Mm. And we know a few people, but we're the tip of the iceberg. Mm. And you know what? I reckon there's two more fan fiction writers that we need to mention as well. What's her name? Yeah, I, um, look, I know of them. Mm. One's Karen, mm. otherwise known as BATV Passion. Mm. That would be me. Mm. And the other one is Janine, otherwise known as Janine on Twitter and J. Cole on Facebook. Yes. That would be you. Now, Mr. Pedowitz, you may not be aware of this, and uh, we thought we'd just remind you. Between the two of us, we have three Beauty and the Beast Facebook pages. We have a YouTube channel that now has 21 videos on it and I think something like 25,000 views. And we've only been going at it for season two. We, have, we both have Tumblr. We have Pinterest. 
We've got a website between the two of us, the major BATB passion website, which is a one-stop shop for videos and fan fiction for us and for other authors. It's, and it's our passion. it's growing every day. Correct. We do our fanfic. You're at about 11 or 12 stories. I'm at about 21 stories. We love Beauty and the Beast. Mm. We do our video reviews. We do poetry. There's so much stuff we do. You know what I've realised? Tell me. That we work, mm -hmm. we sleep, mm -hmm. and we do BATB. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh, you have a couple of extras, but that's yeah. what we, that's what I we do, do. I do some editing and I do some... And look, I'm... And I do Steve every now and then. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, wrong sorry, video. Mr. Video. Sorry. Yeah, wrong video for that. But that's how important this show is. The international fandom is unrated and we just think it would be heartbreaking for a show to base itself on solely American views. I would cry. And we would do more than cry, we'd be crushed. Mm. Now, we got told, the CBS tweeted to mm. one of the beasties that BATB is sold or licensed into 200 markets. I don't care what language you speak, there's only 196 countries in the world. <laughs> 200 markets has got to be good. Mm. I don't care if there are three or four or five markets in one country. Mm. That's still really, really good. It's Nobody confused. can tell me otherwise. And one of those markets is India. Dude, Mr. Pedowitz, that's 1.3 billion. We had to Google before to find out that 1%. Because we're not that smart. It's 13 million people, people. from India alone. That and they're the potential to reach season one back to back so that people can catch up in preparation for a renewal of season, season three. three, which they're taking for granted. Yeah, now you really don't want to pee off. You, no, you don't want to upset 1.3 billion, billion people. people in India, even at quarter of a percent of That's that 3.25 million. million people, which is more than you get in the US alone. So Internationally, there's a few millions. Put millions all of the numbers together. Watching. You'd I mean, be surprised. Beauty and the Beast is number one and two in Europe, in several countries in Europe. So, you know, it's it's not just shown, it's not just loved in yes. the US, it's loved and around uh, the world. And we hear you're getting absolutely swamped by roses. Sorry, not really. No, no, we're not. I suspect you're going to get a lot more before it's finished I said as some. well. I and the other thing you have not taken into account, and Jay Ryan has touched on this in one of his interviews, mm -hmm. is that um, guess what would happen? And you mentioned it before too. Well, if if you don't renew season three of Beauty and the Beast, Mr. Pedowitz, I would like an application form on where I can submit my petty cash claims for my therapy sessions. Yes. Because I think not only myself, but an awful lot of beasties around there are going to need somewhere to go to talk to someone about their feelings of loss, grief and devastation. There's, there's going to be mental trauma. Mental trauma. Well, there's yeah, there will trauma. be. Anguish, mm. trauma. Yeah. We're going to need therapy sessions. Yeah. I hope you've got a big petty cash tin it's because not a, you're going to need it. This isn't a bribe. It's not a threat. It's no, just no. A we, we, we just <laughs> know it's a fact. It'll happen. Now, of yeah. course, too, look, if you have an opening on your staff for two new writers. Janine and I are available. It's, it's just not a problem. Mm. Um, I only come with a dog, a cat and a partner. That's all, just me. And it's just me. So, and we're happy to. Mm. And the other thing we would be happy to be are on the spot reporters that will yeah. ask the hard hitting questions of the cast. I would, no, I can't no, say No, okay, no, we can't say it now. out loud, but <laughs> we could, we could. So we'd find out for all the beasties what they really want to know. Exactly. And it would probably have a lot to do with Jay Ryan, but that's all right. That's that's no, all cool. Austin, and I know Austin. Oh Davis. yes, oh, he's our king beastie. We yeah. love Austin. Look, Great the times. other thing that I read in the last few days is that for a four-week period, for the month of March to about the second mm. of April, on Twitter, based on the hashtag BATB, um, Beauty and the Beast was the winner. More than a hundred thousand tweets ahead of its nearest rival, which was Supernatural, which has been going for how long? It's in its ninth season. Though. It's in its ninth season. Um, we must have millions of tweets mm. if we get more than half a million in the space of four weeks. Yes. What is that telling you? Th th we could we go a lot of time, time ahead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, not really. No, we don't. We don't have a lot of time. We just make the time yeah. for Beauty and the Beast. Absolutely. Because we love it with a passion. Mr. Pettis, I actually, on when it's airing, um, I actually stream it live here in Australia. Yes. I jump onto a website and stream live now. I don't know if it if it's counted towards your ratings or your views, but and a lot of us this have is to how, do that. This is how passionate we are. Like I take a late lunch break at work because I don't want to miss mm -hmm. an episode of Beauty and the Beast. Because unfortunately in Australia, 
we don't get to see it. No. So this we is how we watch it. it. We're backwards here. We when stream it comes it, to it. We stream live. Mm. We do. Mm. We do we stream so, it live. And and we buy it on iTunes so we can watch it at yep. other times. So we're trying to do the right thing by you and by Beauty and the Beast and we really, really would like season three. Please. And did I mention we do video reviews? Yes. I think I did. Yes. But I just wanted to reiterate, we do video reviews every single episode of season every two. Every week. And being who you are in charge of a network, you'd know how much hard work goes into these videos. Karen knows and we love it. Yeah, yeah, you know too. I'm just here for my pretty face. Oh, okay. But we love it. We love it to death. Yeah. So we have written another poem. So this letter's to you. So, dear Mr. President, we're international beasties. Not in this <laughs> I think I might let Janine read this I one. I haven't got my glasses on. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to start this one again. This letter's to you. So, dear Mr. President, we're international beasties, not local US residents. We watch Beauty and the Beast because it's our weekly feast. We eat up humour, love and romance of Vincent loving Catherine with just a glance. With JT and Vincent and their eternal friendship, JT and Tess, and their occasional tongue slips. Stuff Bob, Muirfield and Gabe, the demise of you all would make our day. We want you to let Catherine and Vincent be, but for that to happen, we need season three. So, please. yeah, please, with sugar on top. We and love you dearly. And cream and we consider you to be the most important president in the history of the United States. You have the most... Ah, that was the other thing. I just remembered, being your mother. Mr. Pre Mr. President, sir, it uh, has come to light that in a previous interview you said, or it has been mentioned, that BATB is your baby. Now, I'm sorry, as a parent, you don't give up on your baby. You allow them to realise their full potential. You allow them to grow, you allow them to develop, you guide them along the way. You do not give up on your babies. BATB is your baby, don't give up. Give us season three. We will love you forever. Please. I think we've covered it. I think we have. So thank you, Mr. Pedowitz, for you, listening sir. to our plea. We love you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.